I don't know about you, I've already got spring on the brain, obviously, but I wanted to bring you some spring ideas because that way it gets the mind thinking about what you might wanna bring in for the spring months. <music> Hello and welcome to the channel. Very excited that you're here today. Today's video is all about creating a transitional capsule wardrobe from winter to spring. If you are new here, you may not know that 2022 is a low buy year for me, a clothing low buy year. As such, I need to make the most of the wardrobe that I have with adding very few pieces here and there. That being the case, I feel that capsule wardrobes are one of the best approaches that I can take to making the most of my clothing. So if you are at a quandary on what to do with your wardrobe, if you feel a little stuck, capsule wardrobes are actually a great way of getting unstuck from that rut that you might be in. What I have challenged myself to do is set up a capsule wardrobe every single month of the year and then showcase the capsule wardrobe in my weekly series here on YouTube called What I Wore. It's a video that I post every single Friday that has five different outfits um, kind of to represent the work week. And I will be showcasing the capsule wardrobe in that series on, here on YouTube as well as on Instagram, either through real stories, the feed. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss how I am styling my capsule wardrobe for the month. I like to take a modular approach to my capsule wardrobe. If you're not aware of what a module is, a module is kind of like a a smaller capsule within a capsule. It is a grouping of clothes either by style, by color. It can be grouped in any way really. And it's a small little set of clothing that can be worn in their own individual modules. But I like to set my modules up so that they can actually be worn across a different module. For my monthly capsule wardrobes, I think two modules will do it. I want to uh, keep it not too complicated. So. That's the approach that I'm taking. A modular wardrobe is comprised of six pieces. You've got one outer layer, you've got two bottoms, and three tops. So you've got a total of six pieces within the module. This month, I have got two modules. So I've decided to go with a light module and a dark module. Plus, I've decided to throw in a few wild cards. I like round numbers and 12 is a okay number, but I don't know, it's just my OCD nature. I like 15. So every month I will be adding three wild cards and usually those are gonna be comprised of like dresses. I like having those in there because I really love dresses. Also, my approach to capsule wardrobe is that I do not count shoes, bags, scarves, jewelry. I don't count any of that as part of the capsule because for me, Accessories are a, the way that you really can change up an outfit, can make it stand out in different ways, can bring out certain aspects of it. They're just ways that I can make the wardrobe a lot more fun. I'm gonna start out with the dark module. I've pulled out my black ponty knit blazer from Marie Poitois. I think that's how you pronounce it. She is a fantastic plus size brand. She's carried at Nordstrom, but she also has her own website and she's got a lot of, a lot of really beautiful, high quality clothes. It's definitely a brand to look at. I think that her clothes are beautifully made. I have had this blazer now for a couple of years. Now granted, I got it right like the Christmas before before uh, lockdown, you know, before the pandemic hit us. So I didn't get to wear it a lot at work, but I have worn it a lot here at home or with working with clients and when I go out and about. So it is a fantastic, fantastic ponty knit blazer that I absolutely love. If I can't find that particular blazer, I will be sure to have some dark blazer options for you linked in the description bar down below in case you are interested in buying any of the garments that I am talking about today. So the next piece that I have got in this capsule wardrobe, you know it's coming. It is my chiffon skirt 
skirt. It is called the Wilfred Twirl Skirt. It is from Aritzia. If you're not aware, Aritzia is starting to dabble in extended sizing. The twirl skirt is one of them. And I'm so excited because I saw this skirt over a year ago on an influencer and I fell in love with it. I love pleated skirts to begin with. I love chiffon because it's so flowy. This skirt is absolute perfection. It is so romantic and so beautiful and feminine and classic. I have it in black and I absolutely adore the skirt. I'm actually thinking about getting one in another color. I've got to add it to my wish list. But anyway, I digress. Fantastic skirt. I can't wait to play with it and style it both for like a work and also a date night type situation as well as casual because I think that that skirt can definitely do all three. The next thing you have to know this is also coming and that is my black wide leg pant. This is a pin tuck wide leg pant that I got from Eloquy um, well over a year ago and I love them. I wear them all the time and I cannot separate myself from them. They are the most comfortable pair of pants that I own or one of the most comfortable pairs of pants that I own. They got an elastic waist, they're lovely, they are nice and long and I love the pin tucking in the front. It just adds a little bit of structure and polish to the pant if they are available because Eloquy has been teasing us with these pants for a while now I will have them linked below otherwise I will have some other wide leg pant options for you in the description bar the next piece that I have for the dark module in this capsule is what I call a return snafu because last year I was doing so much hauling and there were so many clothes coming in and out of my house you know things that I was buying things that I was returning that I um, accidentally didn't return this sweater to H&M. I'll explain in just a second. So let me talk about the sweater first. The sweater is this beautiful off the shoulder gray thick knit sweater and I loved it when I tried it on and hauled it for you guys but I made the decision that I didn't want to keep it because there were other things from that haul that I wanted. So. I guess maybe I manifested this being a part of my permanent wardrobe because I got the labels mixed up and I sent my H&M returns to the woman within and I sent my woman within returns to H&M. So I ended up having to keep this shirt because it was like gods. It was like at least three months after I attempted the return that I got it back. So now it's a part of my wardrobe which is okay. I really liked it to begin with, so I'm okay with the fact that it ended up coming back to me. You can wear it at least on those days where the weather is still a little bit crisp, you know, as you're transitioning from winter to uh, spring. And I like the fact that it's off the shoulder too, so it will work for a nice date night look, Valentine's, you know, that kind of thing. And so, I decided to incorporate it into the capsule wardrobe. I wanted to get some wear out of it before the season, the cold season was over with. So that's why that has been included. Then I wanted to inject a little bit of color into my capsule wardrobe. So I decided to lean blue into the dark capsule and I've pulled my v-neck merino wool sweater that i got from banana republic a few years back merino wool is a great transitional fabric because it can keep you warm it will keep you cool it is just a really great trans seasonal kind of piece to have it is excellent for layering because it is nice and thin and it will look good with everything in both of the modules so um i love 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 this beautiful pop of cerulean blue especially at this time of year year I thought I would interject a little bit of color and this is quite the pop of color and I love how it looks against my skin tone as well and my hair I have also pulled into the dark module this particular top that I am wearing this is another return snafu this was something that I meant to return to mango and it is actually perfect for this time of year I think it is a really nice blue color but it's a bit muted and that to me feels really good for the winter and it can easily transition into early spring. I'm very excited to wear it. I do like it quite a bit now that it's cooler. The fabric isn't itchy like it was when I first tried it on in I want to say mid to late spring. I wore it last week in my weekend outfits. I paired it with a dark dark brown leather faux leather skirt. Now it's going to be working in the capsule wardrobe. The hero piece for this this uh, capsule wardrobe is this beautiful, beautiful linen blend skirt that I got from Target. It's Who What Wear. I got this skirt 
gods, I don't even remember. I think it was in 2019 that I bought this skirt and I really, really love it. I love bringing this skirt out into spring because it has such a beautiful, beautiful colorway. It's got this beautiful black and gray and almost like a blush pink colorway to it. The pattern itself is not a, not necessarily just a floral. It actually has birds in it. And I love this skirt. It is a beautiful circle skirt really really romantic and just so very lovely and something that i can see wearing now and transitioning into uh into the spring months so for the outerwear piece i decided to go with this oversized blazer that i picked up from h m in december that i am completely obsessed with i love this blazer it's got a nice weight to it so it is actually really good for the winter but also will carry over into spring because it um, it's not so heavy that it's like a coat that that's not how this blazer is so I think that it is a great transitional piece it will do well during the cooler days and it will do well on days where it is not quite as cold to that early spring kind of coolness that happens around this time of year and it's incredibly versatile because of the ivory color it's a blazer what what can I say you can't go wrong with now, it for the other bottom that I have selected for this capsule wardrobe I am of course pulling out my wide leg pants these are the ivory pin tuck wide leg pants that I picked up from Eloqui at the same time that I grabbed the black ones and I absolutely love these as well I know that an oversized blazer and wide leg pants is kind of bending that rule of you know wearing too many loose clothing but I'll work it out you'll see how I'll style now it. moving on to tops for this capsule I have decided to pull in my black sleeveless knit top that I got from H&M it's a rib knit top I know this is a light module but I had to pull in this black piece because I needed something that was versatile enough in this module to um, be layered and still uh, keep me warm. This can actually be worn as a vest. So if I need to layer underneath it, I can, and I can absolutely put a blazer on over it as well. I really, really love this rib knit top, I think. H&M does a really good job on basics at a really good price point that are going to last you and this is one of those pieces. Next top that I have in this capsule wardrobe is also from H&M and it is this beautiful ivory satin button down shirt. You can't go wrong with satin. Satin is stunning and this shirt is stunning. I really really like the fact that it doesn't button all the way up to the neck. It actually starts the button start here so it kind of gives it like a collared v-neck and then it buttons all the way down and it's got these beautiful cuff. I think it's going to work beautifully in this module and in the capsule altogether. The last top that I have is this beautiful pink turtleneck sweater that I picked up from Eloqui. I love the fact that the pink is going to pull out the pink tones in the linen skirt. It's got a little bit of gold running through it which goes a little bit against the gray tones that I've got going on in this light capsule but I'm fine with it. You can't see the gold from far away. You can't really see the gold from up close either to be honest. You have to really really get in to see it. So I am not bothered one bit. I love this sweater. I think it's beautiful and it's pulling in a little bit of color into the light capsule wardrobe. So moving into the wild card pieces, the three dresses that I have selected. First one is another fast favorite that I picked up from Aritzia. And I can't remember the name of this particular brand within Aritzia, but it is a beautiful, beautiful black sweater dress. Uh, it's got these beautiful long sleeves that have a really nice long cuff on them, but they're puff sleeve. I love the way that looks. I think that is such a beautiful, very stunning rich look. It's a high neck. It's got a really nice slit so it brings in a little bit of sexy. I love wearing this dress belted. I just absolutely cannot be without this dress in my capsule wardrobe. I think it will transition well. It's not a heavyweight. It's a merino wool by the way. So again, you know, you've got that really good transitional textile. It's a basic black dress, but it's not so basic. It looks very rich to me, very expensive. It makes me feel like a million bucks. The next dress that I'm bringing in is a floral. It's a dark floral. It is actually this beautiful floral that I picked up from Walmart. This is a scoop dress and I have 
have to say the scoop makes beautiful beautiful dresses and I've had this dress now for a while and it's still looking really really good if I have my druthers with florals I'm gonna pick a dark floral it's so beautiful it's so romantic I think it would make a really pretty dress for Valentine's Day and also as we move into spring it's got lovely colors in the colorway it has like blues and it's got pinks and yellows it looks a lot like a Reformation dress so that's why I am bringing it in because I just love that type of look. The last dress that I'm bringing in is going to be a bit of a color pop actually and it will be this red dress that I picked up from Amazon last summer. It is actually a bridesmaid's dress. This is seriously a wild card because I have no red in my capsule wardrobe however i think that it will work with the pieces that i do have in here and i think it'll be beautiful yeah. it's time for the subscriber comment shout out and even though you may not be a subscriber if i like your comment i'll shout it out here all right today's comment is coming from carol seven carol says i like stripes and plaid but i really struggle with prints thank you for for the spring looks they were breathtaking i'm always delighted and surprised by what you show I really like how classy you keep your looks, yet effortless at the same time. I think us Catholic school girls all struggle a bit, lol. I'm learning though. <laughs> that made me laugh. Carol, thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate um, the, that you commented and the compliment as well. By the way, Carol was commenting on my latest What I Wore video. So if you wanna be featured in the subscriber comment shout out, make sure to comment down below and I might pull your comment for the next video. I hope that you get some inspiration from this as far as how to build a transitional capsule wardrobe. Let me know your thoughts about how you transition from um, uh, winter to spring even though it might seem a little bit early to talk about this I don't think so I'm manifesting spring so thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me I truly appreciate it remember to live your life filled with confidence grace and style I'll see you in my next upload bye